Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley from Pattern Emporium. Welcome to another episode of What's in the Passion. Now this week we are talking about the Grab a Cup of Cardi. If you've not seen one of these episodes before, I sew up a whole bunch of samples in our latest patterns so that you can see the different fabrics that you can use, the different style options you can use, and how you can get creative with your Pattern Emporium patterns. This style is like a coat, a jacket, and a cardigan all rolled into one super relaxed pattern. I've made both summer and winter samples so that you can see how versatile this pattern is all year round. The silhouette is oversized and roomy. It has a wide neck band in a v-neck and then it has a wide hem band at the bottom. You can add pockets but they are optional. And then the sleeve has a dropped armhole and then we have gathers down at the cuff and a wide loose cuff. You can make it tighter if you want to, but it is designed to be worn over other things. So I've made the cuff nice and loose and it sits probably maybe a third of the way down your hand. So if it's sort of down here, it can look too big. It is gorgeously e easy fit through the thigh. I've purposely designed it so it's not pulled in down here so that it's just lovely and loose and free and easy. And let me show you the back. Except for the cropped. The cropped is slightly tapered and there's two versions of taper. There is one band is slightly smaller than the other if you want it tapered in at the waist a little bit more. It is not fitted. You're not gonna get a tight little sweater, a tight little cardi. It is still oversized and lovely and loose and easy. Now you can add buttons or not. You can add as many or as few buttons as you want. You can go super size buttons or you can go buttons to fit, which is about two, two and a half centimeters. So around about three quarters to an inch. It is, as with all of our patterns, fast and easy to sew. It's really important to me to be able to offer you that so that you can sew what you see out in the stores, but it is achievable by as many people as possible. It goes from size four to 30 in Australian sizes, and you can see those measurements on the website. As with most of our top patterns, it is sized using the upper bust, not the bust. And if you are three or more sizes bigger through the hip seat, you might like to multi-size, very, very simple. Now I know you're probably asking right now, what sort of fabric can you use and does it take a lot of fabric? Surprisingly, it doesn't take a massive amount of fabric for something that is so oversized. Fabric wise, stretch knit fabrics. So ideally four way stretch knit fabrics. And basically that means it has elastane in it, which has recovery. If you wanted to do the main bulk of the cardigan, so the main body of the cardigan, in something that doesn't have elastane, in something that's not a four-way stretch, but a two-way stretch, so side to side, you can, because nothing is fitted. It's just here, mostly around the neck, that the elastane comes into play and through the bottom. If your, if your fabric doesn't have elastane, it probably doesn't have a great recovery. So when you stretch it, it doesn't stretch back or bounce back to its original shape quickly or at all. And that kind of means you get waves around here and it means that this can grow quite big around the shoulder and the back neck. So that's why you want your fabric to have that little bit of resilience. So if yours doesn't, just go contrast. If you have a look at the tester photos, the contrast they have put together are so fantastic. Different people have done different colored sleeves and neck bands and hem bands. They look amazing. You can use sweater knits, clutches, velvet, rib knit, um, a cozy knit like this. You can use French terry. You can use the fake alpaca from Lush, quilted knit, a rib knit. If it has knit on the end of it, you can probably use it. A wool blend knit, a merino knit. There are so many fabrics you can use, as you'll see with mine and as you'll see with the tester photos. Now the tester photos start tomorrow morning Australian Eastern Standard Time, so that would be Sunday night in US time. 
and they will show you their different styling, the different styles they've used, and they are in a whole bunch of different sizes as well. And the pattern release is on Thursday night, 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, and that will run until Monday morning. On the website, across the top, you will see a banner. And the banner is basically a countdown of how long you have left to purchase the pattern at 15% off. Go grab a cuppa and let's get started with these samples. This is my first one and it is definitely my favourite. I don't think I've ever owned anything in pastel before, not since I was a child. And this is just beautiful. It's so versatile. It goes with so many things. I've got so many things to show you underneath. Different prints, different colours. It's just gorgeous. It is from Dahlia. So you probably know Kristen from Dahlia. It's a rayon poly spandex and it is beautifully fluffy and so, so soft. I don't know if you can see that. It is so soft. And on the inside, the knit on the inside, it just makes it easier to sew. It's not fluffy on both sides. I have added some buttons along the front and I've added the patch pockets and it's just so lovely in this length it is so much like a coat it just really looks like a cashmere coat I love it it's just beautiful and in the pattern you will find a buttonhole template I just haven't popped any on so first up with the besties goes beautifully and it picks up the pinks absolutely love it it's just easy and the besties is just such an easy top to wear it's just nice and loose the jeans are a little bit big absolutely love it how about beautifully casual with a lounge dress Gorgeously easy, relaxed, and the lounge dress comes in a short sleeve. And this is the long sleeve lounge dress. And over the top, isn't that fantastic? It's so versatile. It's just, you know, just pick up a little colour and Super put together and really, really relaxed. Like this, this dress is gorgeously easy fit. You can see how wide the arm is here and it fits beautifully under the cardigan. How about something dressy with the follow me dress? We have the wide strappy back. Dresses it up, a little bit of a heel. Put together and amazing. I love it. And then if you wanted to button it, if you had buttonholes, gorgeously put together. And what about over your favourite Dream On or Every Day's a Weekend dress? With the gorgeous gathered skirt, this one has a fitted bodice and that sleeve, and you want that sleeve to not be crushed. Perfect cardi for it. Easy. That is so cute. And my sleeve fits beautifully underneath without getting crushed. Now, if you're saying right now, that's not long enough for me, do not worry. It goes just as well over a jumper. This is the XL with the cow neck added. And it has different hemlines. You don't have to do this dramatic high-low hemline. And then for even more warmth around your neck, you could add the funnel collar, which is even bigger. And there we go, gorgeously, deliciously warm. And as I said, there are different hemlines, so you won't necessarily have that tail and it won't necessarily go as high on your body. You just pick and choose from the hemline that you want. But that is so warm. And you can see everything fits under with plenty of room. There's none of that, I hate that, that feeling that my arms are restricted when I layer things over the top and there's none of that. It's just gorgeously relaxed, easy, breezy and loving it. 
Now for those of you in summer right now wearing sleeveless tops, don't worry, we have ones for you too. This one is a super lightweight Hachi rib. And this fabulous in a, a rayon polyelastane. And you can see a drapey fabric is so gorgeous. And it's an awesome thing for cooler days or cooler nights in the spring or the summer. But again, for layering in the colder weather. You can see how drapey this is by how long my arms are sitting. I forgot to check in the tutorial. There is a little note that says what to do to check your arm length, your sleeve length before putting the cuff on and I didn't listen. But if you want this hanging down, perfect. I have added no buttons as this had pretty good recovery horizontally and vertically. I was able to cut the hem across, but you really need to check on your fabric. And then the band is cut across because you need that for round the neckline. I have added pockets. Now remember on a drapey fabric, your pockets are going to drape like this, but that's the vibe. It is relaxed and easy. As I said, oversized, you can pop it over, you know, jeans and a t-shirt. You can take it to the beach to throw over something in a really lightweight fabric. And of course, this is the long length and it's just gorgeously drapey and easy. Those sleeves, a little bit long, but that's okay. Let's layer a jumper underneath and you can see how easy it does that. This is the Unwind, our easy fit jumper sweater. And then over the top, easy. Fits beautifully, relaxed, and I'm, um, again, warmer. You could even go matchy-matchy. This is the Heartstrings dress, same fabric. Don't you love it? That is so awesome. I love it. And for Snuggly Warm, this is the Unwind in the Longline version and it has the turtleneck. And again, it just goes beautifully over these sleeves, which aren't fitted sleeves themselves. Gorgeous. So warm and that lovely, the long line with the long line cardi over the top. Really, really fabulous. And just relaxed, easy. You look great and you're warm. And this fabric I forgot to mention is from fabrics.com in the US. And as I said, it's a rayon poly spandex rib knit, um, a hachi basically, a lightweight hachi. And last but not least, you had to know I was going to dress it up. This is the timeout tank with the knit palazzo pads. Let's have a look. How good's that? It just works. And I think the because you are covered from head to toe, the drapiness of this fabric still allows you to see some of your body underneath. So it does give that little bit less bulkiness than say the pink one would. But you know what, while we're standing here, let's have a look. Let's see how that looks together with bulky. So lots of fabric is what I mean by bulky. Let's just take a look. It's still amazing, but you can see here, if it was the same colour, I don't think it would work. But because it's a different colour, you can see the definition, even though you can't see the definition of your body. So it doesn't look as bulky. But it still looks just gorgeous. All these new outfits. Look how cute the short sleeve version is. Isn't that fabulous? In the Get Creative section of the tutorial, I show you how to add a little band onto the armhole. It is so simple and it's just gorgeously relaxed sleeve, comfortable. 
This is a poly rib knit. I have always loved stripes with animal print. This is the Going Places dress. Little sleeveless action. Gorgeous. Dress it up with some heels. Love it. So versatile. And lastly, combining animal prints. You know I love to do that. This is the Entice Me with the cutaway armholes. Again, this one comes in long sleeve and short sleeve as well. I love it, love it. And it works because the colourings are similar. Let's go warm again. This is the BUT with the funnel neck. So it has a, a slimmer shape than all the others, but it is still, it still has room. Um, and then we have a rib knit. And this is just a polyelastane rib sweater kind of knit. It's not light, but it's not like super bulky, heavy. And then lovely out over the top. Oops. Fabulous. No pockets on these ones, but I did add buttons. And again, it's the long line. Fits beautifully over this. This in itself has a cuffed sleeve. Fits beautifully over the top. Lovely and warm relaxed kind of weekend vibe you can do the tuck if you need to okay this is the entice me fitted dress in the long line and then over the top easy breezy a little bit more dressed up a little bit more Australian Southern Hemisphere and this fabric is a rib, as I showed you, and it is from my local store, Jono's, on the Sunshine Coast here in Australia. When I made this next one, I thought I had made a mistake because the black band is so dominant. But look how fabulously 90s it is. It kind of like reminds me of a tuxedo. So I thought I'll pop it with the palazzo pants. Dress it up a little bit. I've used, um, this fabric has a lot of body and you can see the neckline, see how the neckline sits up a little bit more because the fabric has a lot of body and very little stretch. It is a brushed merino sweatshirt knit um, and the body of this one is a quilted knit. I don't know if you can see that quilting. And this is the hip length. It's that gorgeous traditional hip length kind of cardi. Same fabulously relaxed sleeve so that you can wear it over other things. Um, this one does come with pockets as well. These pockets are square. I just haven't put it on this one. And you can see it's just lovely and relaxed through the body and then undone. Don't you love it? And casual down a little bit with some jeans. I love it. Like I, I was really worried. I thought, oh, I've just wasted all this time, but it actually worked out perfectly. I've done put these gold buttons on the front just to go that little bit more over the top, and it just it worked out well. And I love the way that it just it's just easy, easy cardi you can throw on. This is the keep it simple t-shirt and over the timeout tank and also fabulous laid as a jacket over your favorite woolly knit jumper so all that warmth over the sleeves see fits over the sleeves perfectly well and you're gorgeously warm and your hip length cardi becomes a jacket. Now this fabulous one is a terry knit from Wattle Hill. So it's like a towel um, on the outside, but it is a knit and it's got this awesome pattern on it. And then I've used the contrast spot 
down the band and then just the same as the body on the hem band and it just just makes the most gorgeous jacket I think it, it depending on what fabric that you use whether it will turn out like a jacket or a jumper but also what you pair it with so this is just a really warm um, store-bought woolen jumper really lovely and warm really casual easy weekend outfit and the sleeves fit beautifully over my jumper and just so gorgeous teamed back with a casual t-shirt just easy relaxed in this gorgeous print isn't that fantastic absolutely love it awesome weekend wear and this as I said is the hip length um, I've not added any buttons or anything and the fabric is from Washall Hill love it so much so versatile it's what I love about my job and this fabulous thing is the amazing cropped length so it sits just below the natural waist so there's my waist right there and it is slightly more tapered the other ones um, are up and down straight up and down so this one you can see this is the tapered the more tapered of the two so you can see it fits me a little bit more through the back which is perfect for a cropped cardi so you still get that gorgeous lovely loose oversized drop shoulder nice beautiful big arm and body but you get it slightly tapered in at the waist which is perfect for layering but also for waisted styles like the heartlight skirt and the palazzo pants that that hug you around your torso so do you like my mix and match so this fabric is from Wattle Hill um, it's a sweater knit I suppose you would call it um, or a jack it's a, a jacquard um, it's not a print or anything um, and then buttons from Linkcraft I thought I did quite well and then the sleeve is a really soft sweater knit from my local store Jono's on the Sunshine Coast and I absolutely love this combo it took me a while to sort through my stash and worked out what went with what but there's like a burgundy tone through here that matches the burgundy background in here and just the combo just the put together is just so so me I just love it I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this little cardi and then for a little bit more of an eclectic boho vibe you can just mix and match fabrics and prints and colors just to make it uniquely you this is the heart night skirt or untucked or with the symphony skirt which gives you that flare at the hemline because it's got those gauze gorgeously eclectic love it and then this is the less tapered of the cropped cardies so it sits out from my waist a little bit more has a lot more volume now this um, length doesn't actually have pockets because they don't really fit but if you wanted to put them you could certainly use the hip length pockets and have a play around with placement fabulous sleeves this is a poly french terry from lush and it's so soft and has that gorgeous sort of mottled tie dye effect and you can dress it up or down I've added some little wooden buttons and then wearing it with the entice me dress this is the outfit that you will have seen in in the hugs and kisses cami video with the little cropped cardi isn't that adorable and then if you wanted that more tapered you just use the the second um, hem band which tapers that in a little bit more absolutely love this it's just such a gorgeous little look and you've probably seen cropped cardies everywhere so now you can sew your own 
These are the Palazzo pants and as I said, the Hugs and Kisses cami. Awesome outfit. And then yes, I probably still would layer this. So over the long line unwind. Or just relaxed over your favourite white t-shirt. Easy. Just comfortable and chill. And so sweet with denim shorts. Play around with different combos, different colours, different prints and fabrics and just have fun. So what did you think? Are you a long line person or the hip or the cute little cropped one? Is your mind ticking over with the fabrics that you have in your stash or that you might have seen in a store? That is the most exciting part so tell me below which one you think you might make first. And of course that enters you in our pattern release giveaway where we give away one of these patterns a day. So all you need to do is comment below and tell me which is your favorite. So thank you so much for spending time with me and I will see you in the group.